As China's communist leaders meet in Beijing for the annual parliamentary session, pollution is high on the agenda. So some analysts believe this might now prompt a renewed effort to kickstart the domestic electric car industry. So far, no country has succeeded in making the dream of emission-free driving a reality, despite the lofty ideal. But as John Sudworth reports, China might just now have the motive and the political clout to change all that. For China, the costs of its economic rise are suddenly looming large. More than one million new cars take to its roads every month, adding on the one hand to prosperity, but on the other to a mounting crisis. Vehicle exhaust now accounts for up to half of the harmful pollutants choking China's cities. So the country's politicians need a quick solution, and this might very well be it. The question is, can China do what no one else has managed so far? Make the electric car not just an environmental aspiration, but a real consumer desirable. There's already a plan to put 5 million electric vehicles on the roads by the year 2020. But despite greasing the wheels with subsidies worth up to 30,000 US dollars per car, still no one is buying. I think when you talk to a regular Joe about electric vehicle, he's excited. But when you start asking the Mr. Joe to buy that vehicle, he becomes apprehensive and we call that range anxiety. Most people are concerned about how far will my vehicle go. 300 plus kilometers per charge might impress some buyers, but there's another obstacle. China doesn't yet have anything like enough charging stations. The same anxieties lie behind the failure of electric cars the world over. But in terms of deciding what runs on China's roads, the government still has distinct advantages. The luxury of unchallenged, centralised decision-making power and the ownership of an awful lot of vehicles. In the southern city of Shenzhen, this part state-owned taxi company runs 300 electric cabs with 500 more on order. Pollution is weighing heavily on China's Communist Party, and as it meets for its annual parliament, some are expecting renewed efforts to give battery power a boost. John Sudworth, BBC News, Shenzhen. A high-profile manhunt has come to...